For a benign prostate condition, King Charles will receive treatment. Next week, King Charles III will undergo treatment at a hospital for an enlarged prostate. Although the king's condition is benign, Buckingham Palace stated that he will undergo a corrective procedure. According to the palace, public appearances by the 75-year-old woman have been canceled to give her the much-needed rest. Not long ago, the news broke that the Princess of Wales is hospitalized after a stomach operation. The release of medical updates on two members of the royalty on the same day is unusual, but it is believed that the king had to postpone commitments on Thursday, hence the update was necessary. He was scheduled to meet with cabinet officials and international dignitaries on Thursday in Scotland, but those appointments were postponed due to health issues. The king is also believed to be eager to inform the world about his diagnosis to encourage other men who may have similar symptoms to seek medical attention. Like thousands of men every year, the king has sought treatment for an enlarged prostate, the statement adds. According to the NHS website, benign prostate enlargement, which is not malignant, is prevalent in men over 50 and generally does not pose a major problem. Although there is usually no significant health risk, it can cause symptoms and problems, such as difficulty urinating or emptying the bladder. What is the King of the United Kingdom doing? The type of corrective procedure to be performed on the King is unknown, although there are some options to treat it, such as lasers, surgery, and even steam treatments. The revelation made by Buckingham Palace on Wednesday was the second notable information about the health of royalty members that came to light. After Tuesday's stomach surgery, the Princess of Wales may need to stay in the hospital for up to two weeks to recover. According to Kensington Palace, her treatment went smoothly and was planned. Her condition was not made public. However, it is believed to be unrelated to cancer. Information about the health of high-ranking royals is rarely made public, so the simultaneous release of two bulletins related to two different people is noteworthy. When Buckingham Palace updates the public, it does so with few details and without periodic comments on health matters. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll wait for you in the next video.